Something There, Chapter 3, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. Artwork by Chawan Painting. You can find a link to the artist in the description box below. Super cute art. You don't often find art of Pleaky or Cheesecake or whatever you want to call it, so go give them some love. Now then, if you haven't already, you've made it to the end of this series, so don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment in the comment section. There will be a bonus uh, prequel to this called Adrian's Trench Coat coming out in December, so look for that. If you're not subscribed to this channel, you might miss it, so, you know, <laughs> subscribe. If you don't know what to comment, put Adrian's Trench Coat. Now then, please enjoy Something There, Chapter 3. Adrian Agrest in the cheese store's bathroom, holding a bag of camembert. No! Adrian, don't do it! Plague's cries fell on deaf ears as Adrian dropped Camembert, piece by piece, into the toilet. You should have answered the question the first time, he said, watching another little bit plink into the water. I did! I'd still choose Camembert over her is not an answer, Plague. But it's true. Then prove it. Save the Camembert with your answer. If looks could kill, Adrian would go down in history as the first miraculous holder murdered by his Kwame. Please, Plague begged. Not the cheese, not the Camembert. <laughs> It's done nothing wrong. Only you can save it. Now, will you... Adrian began, interrupted by his phone ringing. Oh, oh, hold on a sec. It was his wife. Marinette? Babe, where are you? Shopping. Leon called. Huh? He's concerned about the sounds coming from the loo. Any ideas? Uh... What are you doing to Plague? Why do you just assume Plague's involved? Adrian questioned, sweat prickling his back. Because I remember the last time you threatened him with cheese. That was... Stop it! Adrian gave Plague a stink eye as the Kwame grinned, arms crossed. Fine. Come home. But we can go on a Starbucks date? Adrian debated it. The cheese wasn't getting him anywhere, but Tiki with Starbucks desserts? Yeah, maybe. He could work with that. Great. You'd better not have that trench coat on when you come home. Hmm. She was serious, wasn't she? I'll give it a new home. Oh, Camembert, Plague said, making a mad dash to free his love from Adrian's grasp. I'll never abandon you again. Hey, Leon, Adrian said, opening the bathroom door and calling out to the empty cheese store. I heard you called my wife. Ten minutes of discussion and debating later, Adrian traded his trench coat for Leon's silence, which was fair because he was the one who gave it to him in the first place. This also meant he walked into Starbucks to see his wife's smug face. Did you drop it off at home first? She asked as he joined her in line. Nah, he said, looking over the menu. I traded it. Someone wanted that thing? As an exchange? Rude. No ruder than you insisting on wearing it to dinner with my parents. Hey now, Dad liked it. While I love Father, I promise my mom didn't marry him for his taste and fashion. She paid for their drinks and they left, holding hands. It's a bit chilly, Adrian said leading her to a park bench. Yeah, a bit. You know what would be a good warm-up? 
Don't say it, Marin had sighed. My trench, Adrian began, cut off by Plague flying out of their to-go bag. You can't have it back, Plague called. Plague! Tiki exclaimed, pursuing him like a high-stakes chase. Yeah, yeah. Adrian watched as the creatures zoomed around the bench, circling them fast enough that he couldn't see what was going on. Oh, no, he heard Marinette whisper. Not without a kiss, Plague said, holding up a cookie. You know, a little mwa action. Plague tossed a glance at Adrian. Oh, wait. Did he think getting a kiss meant Adrian would give him cheese? <laughs> Silly Kwame. Before he could scold him, Tiki gave him a well-deserved roundhouse kick to the face, causing both him and his wife to laugh like Americans at the lunchtime entertainment. Did the hostage situation bear any fruit? Marinette asked, watching their Kwame's battle a few meters away from them. Nope. Adrian sighed, but now I think Plague's going to harass Tiki for a show. Don't bother trying to understand their relationship, love. We barely understand what they are in the first place. Yeah. He put his arm around her shoulders. I suppose you're right. Adrian shouldn't be surprised to see the Kwamis curled up with each other on the couch the next day but something inside him still raised an eyebrow. Huh. Perhaps he'd never understand. Don't even think about it, Marinette said, enjoying her morning hot chocolate as he tiptoed to the bamboo plant. But letting go of trench coats means letting go of trench coat mentality. He narrowed his eyes. Just you wait and see. They'll realize their feelings when we least expect it. Uh-huh. Marinette turned back to her cast-style webtoons. You don't believe me? I just don't see it, babe. Oh, ye little of faith. Yep, that's me. You got me. He twisted his lips into a pout. Whatever happened to my stuttering, blushing Marinette? She realized her crush of the century was the very same cat noir that had to go to the emergency room to get chopsticks removed professionally from pretending to be a walrus at a fundraiser. <laughs> ah, Christmas memories. He watched her fight a smile and trotted over, placing a kiss on her neck in just the right way to make her flush. A Adrian! She began. Never mind found her. She glared before softening her gaze as though asking for a kiss. He obliged, of course, and they both smiled as their lips pressed together. <laughs> Being married was fun. Taking a final glance at the Kwamis napping in the sunbeam, Adrian turned his attention back to his wife, thinking about what they would do for Christmas this year, Without walrus chopsticks, of course. There might not be something between Plague and Tiki, but there would always be something there. And thus ended Adrian's quest to figure out the cheesecake relationship. Thank you so much for listening. That concludes the Something There series. There will be a bonus part called Adrian's Trench Coat coming out. Uh, in mid to late December, that just tells the story of why the trench coat got him arrested, etc. Anyway, if you've made it this far, don't forget to not only subscribe to this channel to stay up to date, but also leave a like and a comment in the comment section. If you don't know what to comment, put cheesecake relationship. Now then, I will catch you in the next one. Bye!